Went to do some plumbing and found these behind a panel in the bathroom. Oh man, NSFW. All right, time to take a look at what is happening. Is that, is that a lemon? Bruh, I, I'm actually getting more confused. I don't know if it's a lemon or a stiff balloon. Why is it shaped like, why is it like that? It's 3D, like it's filled with something, but it's also kind of deflated. What is that? Back the fuck up. Cause if you hit this motherfucker with my brats in this bitch, I'ma beat your ass till the cops come. You see, maybe I'm a maniac, you know, people might disagree. But if I see something like this, I'm going to instigate. Cause you're saying you're gonna fight me, right? Time, time to check, right? Time to do a vibe check. Are you about business or is this all bullshit? Okay, this isn't too trashy. I mean, it's just a bunch of cigarettes. Oh, <laughs> that is some charred up foil. Oh my gosh. You guys love sleeping. You can't get enough of a nap. Man, I bet that nap feels like warm waterfalls. The fact that you posted this on Facebook for people to see, like, it's, oh man. How deep in the murky waters do you have to be to be out here using foil? Oh my God. Okay, I get the Klansman, I get the uh, the German guy, but what's with the zombie dude? What's the deal with that? I don't understand that. And, and just how much money did you spend on the two portraits of uh, the Chancellor of Germany in 1945? Because they don't look good, bro. They don't look like the guy that I've seen in textbooks. Because the Central European dictator on your shoulder, your left shoulder, looks nothing like the other guy on your back, bro. It's, those are two different people and they both have fetal alcohol syndrome. If you call this racist, you need a history lesson. Ain't nothing finer than a Texas pipeliner. Is it supposed to be misspelled? Cause yeah, like I agree that that flag isn't racist. I have no idea how that's associated with any major races in the United States. Like I hardly see anybody fly that at the Daytona 500. Found these cute little keepsakes during my last trip to NOLA. Nolan's people bro are weird. They are strange. I think living below sea level your whole life has some sort of fundamental effect on your psyche something about levees absolutely lowers your iq i don't know what it is i don't know just i think growing up seeing play sandbags being used to hold back storm surge really just chews up the neurons deadass the looney tunes one is kind of funny but where's your windows bro is that your garage how'd you put all that up and you need to learn how to measure bro because like the the top three I'm kind of losing context. Like, I, I want to be able to read all of them to understand what your beliefs are, but like, your roof's in the way. You gotta, you gotta figure that out, man. You gotta plan this out. Bar jokes about Matthew Perry passing away. Oh, so classy. Ah, uh, ten dollar champagne instead of a hot tub. Oh, so funny, so funny. I wonder if it's funny now that we found out that the only reason why that happened to him is because he was messed up on Ket. That man has been dealing with addiction his entire life. And people out here are making jokes so they can sell you a 75% ice, $10 champagne. What, what a classy bunch of folks. Yeah, I resonate. Cause while she does have the yams, I bet being head height to stranger booty is not fun. Those noxious odors are absolutely fucking up her day. You can tell, she already has to go to a bullshit job and ride an even more bullshit train just for you to stand right next to her all while hugging the pole with your butt cheeks. How's that possible? I feel sorry for anybody who rubs up against that pole or accidentally looks at that pole because you already know you're going to start itching. I work harder than an ugly stripper. I doubt it. Nah, ugly strippers do work really, really hard, bro. I, I really don't believe you, bro. What's your, what's your occupation? What do you do? What's so difficult? Because I wouldn't even curse my worst enemy with such a terrible, terrible fate. Being an ugly stripper. Good Lord. Imagine putting in work doing push-ups, sit-ups, aerobics, just so that you can spin around that pole as perfectly as possible, just for some touchless, loveless dude to throw some nickels at you. It, it's terrible, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, man. When you told her to stay in the car, but she got out. Oh man, I, I see it, of course. You know, I'm, I'm recording it right now, you know? I, I see what the photo is, you know? But you don't. 
you don't know what is under this post. You have no clue. And I get to, I get to have the pleasure and joy of absolutely torpedoing your sanity. I, I'm so happy that you've come here and given me this opportunity to remind you that in reality, the blind are really lucky. It's us seeing people who suffer. For as grimy and trashy as this is, they're having fun, man. They have more than what most people have. They have a family. They have fun. They are happy. They also have a predisposition for Trisomy 21, but that's fine. It's all giggles. It's all fun. It's all worth it in the end. So what if your cousin's your grandfather? This family gets to ride in tractors during weekdays. I envy that, truly. I wish I had time to fuck around on a, on a Tuesday. I wish I could just be free at 2 p.m. Ooh, I know that hurt. Ugh, man, I have to acknowledge that, man. Like, he is a fan of white people. He's not some LARPer, all right? He's no Richard Spencer. This dude is the real deal. I would never want to get a calf tattoo, man. What? It's just nothing but tight skin and muscle. Ugh, I have nowhere to go. The pain is just going to be there. I can't escape it. But hey, if I had to give this guy a little bit of advice, I'd chill out with the uh, leg tattoos. He's coloring in a little too much. You might have to give up that membership card if he, you know, goes a little too hard. Where do people source these things? What the fuck do you have to search up to get hentai stickers? And if you think about it for a little bit, you know, if you get a little bit nerdy about it, the supply chain and level of logistics for this to happen is astounding. We really live in the future, man. This is the direct consequence of six decades of free trade. I really want to find out which East Bumblefuck sweatshop is responsible for producing these stickers. If you really think about it, there's just so many components that go into making custom hentai stickers. So many moving parts, so many cargo ships, so many factories, so many processing plants, and all of that is valuable because some dude just cannot put down the anime pussy. Anyone care to explain why the fuck she put the Hoover in the fuel cap bit? You see the shape of her head compared to the rest of her body? Looks a little disproportional, am I right? Like everything else matured except for her cranium. Just had to make that observation. Also, just wanted to point this out before we go to the next post. Is she wearing pants? I don't know. She's outside. There's people washing cars behind her, bro. I don't know if she's wearing pants and she's straddling the vacuum cleaner, man. I don't think fire is enough. I don't think you, I think you need to just throw that vacuum into literally the vacuum of space. You gotta throw that off the planet so that no poor soul has the chance to encounter this absolutely contaminated car vacuum. Like seriously, man, I know for a fact when she put that down, half of the plastic was already melted. Here for good friends and good vibes. Don't ask when we're hanging unless you're paying for the sitter. Every day is a reminder. Every day is an affirmation. Every day is a confirmation of one singular cosmic truth. That Bumble as a platform not only just sucks, but somehow acts as a magnet for some of the lamest women on the planet. I have never ever seen a screenshot that was in any way that wasn't just sad and lame, bro. I don't know what it is. And to be honest, I want the other side of it. To the women in the audience, who are on dating apps, which dating apps have just the worst men? Let me know in the comments down below. I need to know what the other gender equivalent is. And then we can compare. And that's where the fun begins. I bought 2,500 DVDs from a closeout with the intent of listing them online for sale. I take a picture of the cover, the back, and the disc. And today, I opened a copy of the infamous and dreaded The Notebook, only to find this. Am I crazy? Don't forget what you did, Desh. I love you, Carrie. Don't forget that. 24 hours later, you cheated on me. Over the next 30 days, July 3rd to August 1st, you pushed me away and pushed me out of your life. After three years of being a huge part of it, your actions contradicted your words. You made me crazy because you're crazy. Don't forget, you cheated, manipulated, and broke my heart. You are the slut. Okay. Uh, thanks for sharing. Um... Didn't ask, never would have asked, uh, never thought to ask. But thank you for putting that inside of a movie that I purchased. Uh, a movie that most people just simply dislike for being a two hour just cliche fest. And somehow I'm a little bit thankful that you uh, included me in your messy trashy drama because this is more entertaining than The Notebook will ever be. All right, time to sit down at the cafe, ooh. <laughs> Got some memorabilia up there. 
<laughs> all right, you know, some people collect. It's not all racism. It's, it's not all bad. You know, I, I've, I've met a couple a couple of people who just like the figurine. Oh, ooh. <laughs> ah, I'm starting to think this isn't a coincidence. <laughs> Time to make my exit, you know, time to, time to get out of here. I swear, man, people just have kids just to have them, you know? There's no onus to mature. There's no onus to be a, a good role model. There's no motivation to be any way reasonable in any capacity. You're trying to tell me that you guys dressed up as key hits? It would be kind of funny if everybody was adults. It would be like, ah, okay, everybody's a key hit. Uh -huh. Like seriously, straight up 20% funny. The fact that you did this with kids just makes it negative funny. And of course, the final post of the day is from the trashiest website on the planet, Twitter.com. I'm so heartbroken, anybody that know me knows I wouldn't do no goofy shit like that. You're right, Sexy Red. Your music and your posts on both your Instagram and Twitter account are absolutely reflective of a civilized, non-goofy woman. You are the literal embodiment of everything wholesome and reasonable. I truly can't think of any other role models that not only meet the standard, but Surpass it in ways hereto undreamt of. You are certainly someone to admire in every way imaginable. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Aleris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. I know you guys have been waiting a very long time for content, and that's because I've been focusing on a ton of more reality content that I wanted to publish before the end of the year. And all of that content was age restricted, so I wanted to make sure that it won't happen again. I kept uploading the videos, and they kept, you know, just being slapped in the algorithm. So I've been able to retool them in a way so that everyone of all ages can enjoy some of the best content on the channel And it seems like my endeavors have been successful So I hope you guys enjoy the videos and as always I gotta thank the patreon supporters that make content like this possible a big thank you to Tariq D the Blurred Star, Mr. Sandman, Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Loving Tate, Tron Destroy 23, Co Connor Purvis, S16, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanaker, Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dundernass Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. If you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, Always stay zesty.